Hey, Haytham, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you, Jesse? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. So, I just finished talking to my account team, and we've got our licenses set up. I've got them all added to the smart account. I think I'm actually ready for the next part, which, if I remember right, was actually converting over my 3850s from the IP base over to the DNA Essentials. Um, I was hoping, can we go through it? Actually, maybe give me an example of how this is going to work so I uh, I know what I'm going to be doing. Okay. So let me share my PowerPoint slides. Give me a second. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, I am. Okay. So uh, when we talked about the licenses and we provided an overview about it, so there are two parts, which is uh, the network part, the network stack, and we have the add-on license. So we will start with the uh, uh, perpetual part. This is where we need to convert from the old legacy to the new smart licensing model. And in order to do that, we discussed that there are different approaches. Two of them are self-service, and one of them is going to uh, um, um, Cisco support in order to do that for you. So I'm going to discuss one way of them, which is device-led conversion. It's a feature that you can use the CLI in order to start this conversion. And what it does is uh, the classic license gets converted and all this migration data is being sent and that information is being sent to your smart account and Cisco uh, uh, a smart software manager. And this is supported only on the switches 3650 and 3850 starting from release 16.9. And as I mentioned, that this is a CLI approach. There are certain prerequisites that you need to follow and make sure that it's existing before you start this operation. First of all, that you need to have your smart account existing and it's activated. Uh, you need to be to have the proper rights and access rights in the smart account. So you need to be an administrator for that and you have accepted all the end user uh, uh, agreements uh, for that and you need to ma make sure that you have a network connectivity between your end device and the cssm so and on the right hand side as you can see in the picture we have different ways in order to reach the uh, 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 software manager of cisco so you can have the direct approach where your end device just communicate to the internet going to that cloud and you can use it via a proxy or you can use it via your on-prem satellite uh, software manager. So these are the different ways in order to start communicating and, and uh, uh, communicate your license and do all the registration. So in terms of the uh, workflow and the steps that you need to follow, so you're starting to upgrade your device from a, a legacy uh, non-supporting uh, smart licensing like 16.8 or uh, or lower and you start to uh, upgrade to 16.9 that this is the new version that only supports smart licensing so this is the first part and then uh, um, uh, you then just start registration of the device uh, on your smart account and we will see what how this is going to be done and then at the end, the last step is you start the conversion CLI command from a device perspective. So this is in a nutshell and high level, what is, what is the workflow? So there are two things that we need to do. First one will be from your uh, uh, smart account portal. So first thing you need to enable the settings, uh, enable license conversion settings. And as you can see here and highlighted in the diagram, the red box, go to the convert to smart licensing and then go to the conversion settings. And then you say enable on all virtual accounts or the virtual account you, you desire. The second step is generating a registration token from your smart account. And this is like authentication between the device and your smart account to start the communication. So we need to generate a registration code from there. And then you copy this token and paste it on the device. And there are some references here and hyperlinks that shows you uh, from a CLI perspective with the screenshots from the, your smart account portal, how to do this in step by step. The second part is starting to from the CLI of the device itself. First, you register the device to your smart account, which is 
license smart register and then id token and you put the token that you already generated on your smart account and then you start the initiate device that conversion command which is license smart conversion start so this is uh, as as it sounds i hope it's easy for you and it's it's really straightforward yeah so just to make sure i've got it right we're going to start by generating my token from the smart account website copy that head over to my device run the command license smart register id token and then paste in the token that i copied from the website and then just license smart conversion start and that's it that's it as easy as it sounds <laughs> okay. seems straightforward sorry go ahead okay and this is uh, like a troubleshooting flowchart uh so you don't fall into any kind of obstacles while you're doing this operation so there are three uh different things that you need to be aware of and make sure that it's configured properly so you need to have the whole home profile uh, configured properly and this is a default configuration that comes with the uh, ios software uh, if you're going to access to the cloud directly via the internet, you don't need to do any kind of modification. But if you're using an on-prem uh, satellite server, you need just to modify that to put the correct URL uh, to be pointing the device that this is the portal that you're going to speak to. Uh, second thing is that you need to make sure that you have the DNS reachability and the layer 3 connectivity to tools.cisco.com. So we need to make sure that the device can resolve the name of tools.cisco.com and we have the end-to-end -end layer 3 connectivity in order to do that. And then you generate the, the uh, token, as I mentioned in the previous slides, you paste it on the device and then you'll get the outcome. So it's either the device fails to register, that means that you have a problem like a broken connectivity uh, between the uh, smart account and, and the device himself, or the device goes through and it goes to an authorized state or the device is out of compliance. So that means that uh, uh, there is something wrong. You don't have insufficient licenses uh, or something of that. So to have more details, you can go to this public URL, which takes you in step by step how to troubleshoot and the different uh, states uh, that you will find for the license status and what does it mean and where exactly you should go to in order to troubleshoot further. So as I mentioned before, um, you have the, you need to migrate the classic license, which is the perpetual. The, th the second thing is your add-on DNA license. How you just change the add-on uh, license on your devices. So it depends on the platform and the IS that you have. So for the 3850, you can go to the configuration guide. It's just simple. You just say the license boot level and you mentioned I needed essential or advantage. For the 2960, it's this license boot level add-on and you mentioned is it DNA uh, uh, essentials or advantage. However, for the 2960, it only uh, supports the essentials license. So the only command would be like you put the essentials and you need to accept the end user agreement as you can see here in the CLIs and that's an important one in order to start uh, uh, working with those new license. And I've added all the uh, links to the configuration guides in order to assess and assist you and help you with this kind of transformation. I hope that was clear and easy. It seems very straightforward and I really appreciate you showing me the troubleshooting steps. Ideally, nothing will go wrong and this seems very easy, but as we all know, Stuff does go wrong. So the, the troubleshooting guides, I'm sure, are going to be very helpful to me as well. Thank you very much for your time. Once I get all of this sorted out, I'm sure I'm going to have some extra problems and I'll probably have to open up another engagement request with you. But I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much, Jesse. And good luck with the migration. And uh, just reach out to me in case if you face any kind of obstacles. I'll be glad to support. Thank you. Will do. Have a good day. You too.